Our last story we're going to read is called The Native Americans Today. Listen closely and see if you can hear the word traditions. Mohawk, Goshoot, Cree, Dakota, Choctaw, Hopi, Iroquois, Micmac, Crow, Wampanoag, Cheyenne, Blackfoot, Sioux. All these and many other Native American tribes spread out across the North American continent thousands of years ago. They are still here today. Long ago, these Native Americans hunted, farmed, and fished for their food, shelter, and clothing. Rabbits, turkeys, and squirrels dotted the forests. Buffalo, elk, and deer roamed freely about the land. Fish, clams, and whales filled the oceans, rivers, and streams. From the open plains to the forested woodlands to the coastal waters, Native Americans taught themselves how to live in harmony with nature. They were hunters and farmers and fishermen. Today, some Native American tribes still hunt and farm and fish, but the North American continent looks vastly different now, and they no longer live entirely off the land. Today, many of the forests have disappeared, highways have replaced the buffalo, across the open plains, and many rivers and streams no longer have great numbers of fish swimming in them. So how do the Native Americans live today? What do they eat? Where do they sleep? What do they wear? What do you think? Native Americans today still eat corn, squash, fish, and meat, just as they have always done but they buy it in supermarkets. Native Americans today may use Pueblos, Teepees, Weetus, and Hogan's some of the time, but most sleep in houses, apartments, and mobile homes as their main homes. Native Americans today no longer wear fringed leggings <clears throat> and deer-skinned moccasins. Here, the word wear means to be dressed in something. They wear jeans and sneakers and other clothing worn by other Americans. But many Native Americans still remember their tribal traditions of long ago. Traditions are customs or ways of doing things that are passed down from generation to generation. The Wampanoags have clam bakes along the coast of Massachusetts today just like the Opanog bear, gull, and crow attended. The Lakota Sioux have elaborate ceremonies with dancing, drumming, and singing on the plains of North and South Dakota. The Lenape still pass down their stories to their children and grandchildren and still hold their traditional celebrations. Powwows, or gatherings of Native American tribes, are held all across the United States today. At these powwows, the people often dress in native clothes trimmed with beads, feathers, shells, or bones. It is there that Native Americans honor the past and tell family stories. Navajo, Cherokee, Taos, Rappahannock, Shin Shinnok, Ka, Walla Walla, Zuni, Ute, these are just a few of the many, many Native American tribes living in the United States today. They were the first known people here, and for many years, they were the only people here. Today, they share their land with people from all over the world. Okay, did you listen closely? It's time for some questions. Did you hear the word traditions? 
How do Native Americans keep their traditions and culture alive today? Did you say they still eat similar foods? Did you still say they have powwows? Or they pass down family stories? If this was what you answered, you should pat yourself on the back. Here is your first question. Are, are there still Native Americans living in the United States today? Yes, there are. Number two, how does the author describe how Native Americans live today? What, what does the author say? What do they eat or where? Where do they sleep? The answers to this were in the story. Today, most Native Americans live just as other Americans do. The last question. Use the model think, pair, share. Do you think it is important for Native Americans to keep their traditions alive today? Why or why not? Okay, time for word work. The word we're going to learn today was the word traditions. In the read aloud, you heard, but many Native Americans still remember their tribal traditions of long ago. Say the word traditions with me. Traditions. 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 The word tradition has the letter S at the end to show that it means more than one tradition. A word that shows more than one thing is called plural. When we add an S or sometimes an ES to the end of the word, we make it a plural word. Listen closely. Traditions. One of my family's favorite traditions is watching fireworks on every 4th of July. Think of a tradition you or your family may have or know. Try to use the word tradition when you tell about it. My family traditions include blank. Your turn. <clears throat> Okay, time for stand up or sit down. When you're standing up, that means you agree. This is a tradition. If you're sitting down, you disagree. This is not a tradition. Listen up. At bedtime, Jenna's mother tells her stories that have been passed down for generations. Are you standing up? That is a tradition. Next one. James likes to eat plums in the summer. That is not a tradition. I hope you're sitting down. Next one. Liliana's family celebrates Thanksgiving each year with a turkey dinner and a hike in the woods. Are you standing up? Having turkey on Thanksgiving is a tradition. Next one. Crystal went to the grocery store yesterday. I bet you're sitting down. That is not a tradition. Last one. Fernando loves seeing his cousins at the family reunion every September. I hope you're standing up. That is a tradition. Thanks for listening to this story. This actually wraps up our unit on Native Americans.